what is going on youtube so we're on the lot again today and check it out we got a 2008 subaru outback wagon so this thing's actually in pretty decent shape i mean it's got 180,000 miles on it but the interior is not all that dirty i know my man Sailor 509 can clean this thing up but you guys can see i got a box over there um i unloaded this thing off the trailer and it starts right up but it's rattling really bad so i went ahead and lifted it up the other day and she was uh rattling actually in the cat so the cat is hollowed out i don't know if uh, it's just because it's a cheap aftermarket one or what but the thing rattles so i'll go ahead and fire it up right now it does have some body damage right here but i think i can pull this fender out line this all back up you know maybe get it looking decent but other than that i mean i think that's the only dent it has <clears throat> and it has one over here on the door but i mean let's go ahead and fire this thing up and see what she does there we go. Oh, looks like we don't got a good connection okay let's go ahead and fire this thing up just to show you guys what's going on so it should fire right up uh, a little bit of a long crank but maybe because it's been sitting and there you go i don't know if you guys can hear it all that well but the thing is definitely rattling so what i ended up doing was i checked this thing out the other day and i put some self tappers in that catalyst right there so you can see them there And what that did was that made the noise actually go away for a little while. I drove it around and it was running perfect. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure it has a bad cat. So I, I just went ahead and ordered a cheap one off of eBay. It's actually there in the passenger seat. So let's go ahead and get started on this thing. Okay guys, so as you can see, I sprayed these things with some uh, PB Blaster just to see if we can get them off a little bit easier. They are exhaust bolts, so I always like to spray PB Blaster on all that stuff. But you can see the self-tappers I put in here and that made the rattle go away. Um, but these actually, this cat, this is act your actual cat here. But this thing's actually pretty easy to change. It's just got three bolts on this side here. One, two, and three. And then three bolts over here. One, two, and three. And then the hardest part is actually gonna be getting these two O2 sensors out. Usually what I do is I unplug them from the top and then uh, disconnect them from here and then drop the whole exhaust with them still in there and then take them off while you have the exhaust down. So there is two sensors in there. There's one after the cat and one before the cat up here on top. So <clears throat> let's just go ahead and zip all that stuff off and we can replace our aftermarket cat. Okay, so check it out. We got our new cat right there and our old one here so just to show you guys hopefully you guys can see inside of there the cat is just pretty much loose inside of there if i poke this thing that thing just falls down in there and it was definitely just rattling in there so definitely bad so we're gonna go ahead and just uh slap that one on i gotta change these little two sensors over there i actually bought a new one for this uh bank one sensor one because we had a check engine light on before we started so this one i'm not gonna take off only this one here so let's keep on going guys, put those two sensors in it and slap it back in there. All right, so we got our cat in there. Let's go ahead and uh, give this thing one more try. Hey, she fires right up. Oh, beautiful. No check engine lights. We just got our brake light on, it looks like, and our daytime running light. So, perfect. And she purrs like a kitten. She sounds real good. All right, no more rattle. Man, she sounds good, guys. So I think I'm just gonna let this thing get up to temperature let it idle you know make sure everything else is running good no leaks or anything like that and maybe we'll take this thing for a test drive okay, so we just got off the freeway i mean she's running driving good there's uh, no knocks nothing like that it's not rattling anymore so obviously this one's pretty dirty i mean it got like some mold growing here on the seat belt but <clears throat> she's gonna go guys so send her off to detail and she'll be a quick flip so it's been a couple days but after the test drive the thing ran and drove perfect so no check engine lights, no rattles, nothing like that. So the cat fixed our problem. 
and check her out so we went ahead and took it to the detail shop like i said it's been a couple days so they cleaned her all up she shined up really nice actually so the thing actually looks pretty sweet um the tires were kind of junk on it so i went ahead and got some used tires for it too but other than that man i think the thing is ready to sell so she's already on the lot for sale and hopefully we make a profit on it so remember guys stay up hustle hard